Greece and Troy were locked in a long, bitter war. The Trojans had captured a beautiful Greek princess named Helen and held her within their fortress city of Troy. It did not seem possible that any man could break into the fortress city of Troy. For days, weeks, months, the Greek soldiers from their camp on a beach near the city assaulted the walls of Troy, but they were always beaten back. Then Ulysses, a great leader of the Greeks, said to his men, I have a plan. It is dangerous, but if it works, the Trojans themselves will take us through the gates of their city. At the order of Ulysses, the Greek soldiers set to work cutting down huge trees, making the wood into planks. From the towers of Troy, the Trojan soldiers watched a big building grow taller and taller day by day until it was six stories high. And when the Greeks pulled away all the work ladders and scaffolds, there stood a huge wooden horse, 80 feet tall. All along the towering walls of Troy, the soldiers and the people gathered to look out across the plain at the great wooden horse. They wondered what it was for, what it meant. The Trojans did not know that Ulysses and five Greek soldiers lay hidden in a dark secret passage inside the wooden horse. All through the night, fire blazed brightly on the beach. The Greeks were burning their tents, just as if they were giving up their camp and sailing back home. When morning came, not a Greek ship or soldier remained. But where they had camped stood the great Trojan horse. The Trojan people poured out of the city to the beach, so they could look more closely at the structure over the Greeks. The Princess Cassandra, daughter of the king of the Trojans, warned her people of this Greek gift, but no one would listen. The Trojans decided to pull the great horse inside the walls, into the city of Troy itself. The Trojans tied thick ropes around the legs of the huge wooden horse. Hundreds of men took a hand at the ropes. Others lined up behind the horse. Whooping and hollering, laughing at the Greeks who had never been able to scale the towering walls of Troy, the Trojans tugged and pushed and pulled the huge wooden horse slowly from the beach, over the plains, and through the gates of Troy. In the dark, secret passage of the wooden horse, Ulysses and the five soldiers lay quietly waiting. They could feel the horse being moved. What the Trojans had decided to do, neither Ulysses nor his soldiers knew. Suddenly, after a whole day and half a night, the Trojan horse moved no more. An hour passed. Still the horse did not move. Ulysses gave a signal. The soldiers felt their way silently down the dark, secret passage, following Ulysses. Cautiously, he opened the trap door. Just as he hoped, the Trojans had brought the horse inside the walls of Troy. The city was sleeping now, and the walls were unguarded. Ulysses drew his sword. He ordered the soldiers to follow, and he dashed for the main gates of the city. The Greek soldiers quickly tied the sleeping Trojan guards while Ulysses scampered up the sentry tower. Holding a torch high above his head, he signaled to the Greek army which had turned around and sailed back to the beach during the night. And even as Ulysses and his men opened the gates of Troy, the Greek army was marching across the plain. Caught completely by surprise, the Trojans were easily defeated by the Greek soldiers who found their beautiful princess and took her back safely to Greece. And brave Ulysses was named the greatest of the Greek heroes.